Hey guys, how you doing? This is Spirit Journey. Today I'm going to sprout some seeds. Yep. I have a zuki, broccoli, and mung beans. And what I'm going to do is the following. I like to keep my glass jars and I have three sets of them. And what I'm going to do now, let me show you what they look like. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one tablespoon full of the beans. These are the azuki. I think I'm going to put a little more. Put in two, two, and then I'm going to get the broccoli. These are smaller seeds. I'll show you what they look like. This one I'm going to put a little less than. A little less than a tablespoon because when these grow they're going to get bigger. See that? This is going into the jar. And these are the mung beans. I'll show you what they look like. Oops. Okay. okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to pour some water. I have here a bottle of water. Like an inch and a half, okay. This one I'm going to put in about the same amount of water. These are the broccoli. And last but not least, the mung beans. Okay. So the larger seeds I'm going to have soaking for about six hours. And the broccoli seeds, which is the smallest, I'm going to soak that for two to three hours. And once the time is done for these, I'm going to rinse them out, you know, rinse, rinse the seed, you know, drain the water, and then rinse the seeds, and then I'm going to put a cover over it. I don't have any of those, uh, those tops that has the holes in it, but I'll just lightly just place it right on top so no debris will fall in. Just like that. So, in about two hours, two to three hours for the broccoli, I'm going to rinse it. And these latter two, I'm going to uh, rinse uh, in about six to eight hours. So, take care and enjoy. I'll, I'll give a follow-up on how it turns out. Hey, hi guys, this is Spirit Journey. This is an update on my routing. That I'm doing. I started about two days ago and this is just a follow-up. I have here some the beans that I had in the jar. I had just rinsed it but I'm going to show you again how I did it. Okay, I just added some water. Okay. I swish it around. It's just a, you know, a, a, a used jar. <laughs> See, this is the original label on it. It's a glass jar. It sounds like glass at least. And then the tap. Okay, I don't have one of the strainers. But you just go like this. You just place it right on top. You don't screw it in. And then you turn it upside down and let the water come out. Just like that. And it's brown too. I'm going to show you. Okay. Put that 
bottom there. Look at that. Hope you can see it. See that? It's sprouted. That's that. I think these are the mung beans. And you stir it on an angle like that. Because you don't want any water to puddle and it to sit in there. Let me empty out more water. See that? More water came out. Yeah, you don't want any puddle of water, especially in the warm place, because you don't want any mold, you know, to build up in there. You want to keep it fresh. And you stir it on the side like that, on the angle. So it's, <laughs> it's actually, let me show you what I've done. You're going to laugh. These are the other two jars. See that? This is my kitchen. I just had it leaning on the side there. I'm going to show you the other two also. These are the other beans. So this was um, just on its side overnight. And I just add some water. I want to try to get cool water. Not freezing, but just something cool. I swish it around a little bit. And you don't want any biofilm on it. And see how the water gets cloudy? See that? So again, turn it upside down. Just allow the water to escape. Be very careful so you don't want any of the beans to fall out. But originally, again, that water was very dirty. Let me just swish it around a little bit. Okay, turn it upside down. And this is a good good way to get a lot of your micronutrients. As, as we get older in life, you need less calories, but you need the micronutrients. The micronutrients referring to the uh, minerals and vitamins that are inside the food. So that, that's just an FYI. I, I've grown seedlings before when I was a little girl, around nine years old, but I, I never eaten from it. So I think it's really exciting. It's very empowering to feel like that you've done something in, in your control. It's a nice feeling, it really is. And I think this is something that you can do with children, you know, young people, so that they know where the food comes from. See, my mindset when I was a little girl was that uh, all food comes from the supermarket, and if it comes from nature, then it's bad and dirty. I, I had such a warped way of thinking. I was so um, indoctrinated to think that industry, you know, um, these large companies, corporations that make our franken foods were our friend. But when it comes from the supermarket, then it's not clean. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? I was afraid to eat from my, my parents had a peach tree. I'm just looking for one that's sprouted already. Oh, I can't find it now. But well, this is what it looks like. Okay. I don't really see much growth in there. I think one or two might split a little bit. But that's what it looks like. Okay. And then the last one. Oops. Oh, this one's growing. Put those seeds back in there. This is, oops. These are baby, baby seeds. This is broccoli. I love broccoli. This is broccoli sprouts. And I got this from my... Uh, uh, health food store. Okay, let me. I'm going to show you again what that looked like. See that broccoli seeds for sprouting. See that? The water's getting a little bit too warm. And you know what else that I have to mention? I ordered a water filter for this water filter device that I have. I've had it for a couple of years now. Uh, I could I could have had it for maybe six, seven years, and the filter got expired and broke. And I have to be more careful with that. With water filters, you don't want it to be cracked or anything like that because all the, then all the contaminants that are, that's in the water gets into your drink and it, what's called a, a dumping effect and it goes all that old waste that got collected on the filter will go into your, into your water that you're drinking. At first everything seemed cool, you know, the water, you know, because as you use the water filter it gets... It gets more and more um, trinkle, you know, trinkling water. So you know that the filter is getting thick, you know, with debris, and then you you clean it, and all of a sudden, water started, more water started coming out. I said, "That's weird." So let me check, and I open it up, and the whole thing broke in my hands. I said, "Oh shoot." So I think I caught it early enough, but still the fact of the, the thought of drinking, possibly drinking water that was, um, might have been a little, you know, contaminated. So I had, I have to be more on top of it. And it was an old filter. I was just trying to, you know, save money 
but sometimes when you try to save, you know, <laughs> I'm not skillful in uh, cleaning it, but still, you know, an old filter is an old filter, you have to discard it. In the place where I got my filter, they changed the business, so they're not there anymore, so I had to go online and find the same type of filter. The manufacturer stopped making the brand. I have it, what's called ICP, the initials I, as ice cream, season cat, peas and four, ICP um, filter, and it's a subdivision of Aqua Depot. You can find it online, and it, it's, it has a meter to show you how much water it filtered. So I, it uses a battery, and, um, I think what size battery, it uses two batteries inside. Okay. So, so this is maybe like two days after my initial planting, and I think the whole process takes about five more days. But I'll give you a, a run in, you know, how, you know, the progress is going, okay? So, take care guys. Good morning guys, good morning. This is Spirit Journey and this is just an update. A couple of days ago, well today is March 2nd, 2017 and a couple of days ago I showed you my um, my sprouting the seeds. This is uh, mung beans and wow, I mean yesterday it was like up to here and it kind of doubled. Look at that. I already added some water. I was just trying to to rinse it. You know, actually, like yesterday, I was supposed I was supposed to rinse it twice a day, and I did in the morning. But I for I fell asleep. I forgot to do it before bedtime. But either way, it it did well regardless. And uh, so I I just added water to it, and I'm going to have some today. But what I want to do. This is some uh, peroxide because the, the nature of, of seeds, even though I got these seeds from a replica, replicable place, because the nature of seeds and everything and, and bacteria and stuff, I, I want to try to minimize chances of any uh, pathogens, you know, bacteria and stuff because um, they, the seeds were in a warm environment with water. So what I want to do, I'm taking this uh, peroxide, three percent, and just taking a capful of it, and I'm going to add it in the water. You know, just going to get another one. I'm going to use two capfuls. Okay, and then I'm going to swish it around in the water. Okay, it's the top. I'm just gonna swish it around. I'm really excited. Cause I've never grown, you know, I've never sprouted seedlings like this, you know, to eat. Ta-da! Look at that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some I'm gonna have some of this today. I'll just take maybe half. Look at that. I'm really excited. Wow. See that? They really sprout in there. <laughs> so, so that's that. And then I'm going to cut a, a lemon. Let's see if you see it better. I'm going to sprinkle a little lemon in it. Okay. And then add some little pepper. Just a little bit. And I like paprika. For mild flavor and color. Mix it with my hands. And let me try some now. Mmm. Oh, nice. Very nice. 
it has a very earthy flavor crunchy very nice very refreshing so I'm pleased with this and I could put the um, these sprouts I can let it get some sunlight so it can turn a little green for like an hour or two and then put it back in the refrigerator so I could uh, eat it you know you can still eat it um, but it's pretty much at its peak I think I'll just um, you know just have it one more day and then just eat it my other seeds okay these are the broccoli sprouts I already rinsed these this morning and uh, a lot of the seeds didn't sprout but I'm going to try these as well and do the same thing put a little peroxide in the water and just kill off any possible pathogens that might be in here just to freshen it up and then my azuki beans they really didn't sprout just a just a handful of them sprouted so I don't know what was going on there but it is what it is but I'm happy that I did this experiment and at least I know that mung beans are very fertile they they sprout very quickly and that the azuki beans seems to be more problematic and again maybe just takes a longer time to sprout and I'm definitely going to get more mung beans to sprout so thank you again and I hope you enjoyed this showing take care and enjoy the rest of your day